guys, we get to verses 6 and 7 here, and, and I call this one of the very first Old Testament pep rallies, okay, that, that is about to take place. Now, I'll look here, 1 Samuel 18, verses 6 and 7. And it came to pass as they came when David was returned from the slaughter of the Philistine, that the women came out of all cities of Israel, singing and dancing to meet King Saul with tabrets that may be like an Old Testament pom-pom, I'm not sure, with joy and with instruments of music. And the women answered one another as they played and said, Saul had slain his thousands. So they were cheering. Probably in a, maybe a little bit deeper voice than that. Hey, Saul has slain his thousands. And, and you get the idea that when Saul hears that, it's kind of like, that's right. I've slain my thousands. Now, in reality, do you think Saul slew even a thousand? Slew, slown, slain. The past hath slain. Okay. Do you think he killed a thousand Philistines? I, I, I don't know. I get the impression, probably not. And then as he's, he's taking in all these accolades, come on, cheerleaders, a little bit higher there, okay, a little bit louder. Who are you rooting for, okay? We have, I've slain thousands. And then there's another verse to this cheer. And David had slain his tens or his ten thousands. Whoa. And, and everyone's looking at Saul and then oh, David. And then there's Saul over here going. Now, look, most likely Saul did not slay his thousands and most likely David did not slay his ten thousands in that battle. And here's the, the idea. Take the praise with a grain of salt. C consider the source. You hit the game-winning layup and, and everyone rushes the court. You're the best basketball player ever. No, you're not. I am. Just kidding. You're not. Now, you know who will, uh, Emil, heap, piles and piles of praise on you you know who will do that who's really good at it mama and some of you are like yeah <laughs> she's good at that you know how it was you, you come home from kindergarten and, and, and you show mom that that uh, uh thing you, you finger painted okay and and you hold up she's like oh this, my little Picasso, all right, this is so good. And you show it to your dad, and your dad goes, would you sneeze on this? Dads are just a little bit more, you know, blunt to it. They, they, don't, they don't love you less. They, moms are good at that. Just the other day, my, my daughter's in, you know, soccer game. Hey, Riley, this, this is me. You know why you're crying? Because that's weakness leaving the body. Congratulations. And then my daughter runs all the field during the game for my wife to kiss her, her arm. No, 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 no. Don't do that. Okay? Soccer player, go out there and kick somebody. I don't know. It'll make you feel better. So, Moms are needed. Okay, absolutely. But listen, if all you live for are mama's praises, then you'll probably find yourself living with mama for the rest of your life. And, and, and sometimes it takes a, you know, an outside perspective to, to kind of give. And, and I'm all about mama building you up. And, and a lot of you who have mamas that will build you up will also set you straight. Okay? So you're like, mm-hmm. That's my mama <laughs> right there. Then you've got a good mama, okay? You've got a very good mama. Look, Saul gets upset. Hey, Saul, um, isn't David out there on the battlefield to help you win? You're mad that he's getting recognition for killing more than, than you did? After a basketball game, you lost by 50, but you just care if you were the highest scorer on your team. Hey, hey Coach, how, how many points did, did I score? Well, obviously not enough. 
We lost by 50. So it looks like you were the high, highest, the leading scorer, and you had three. Next time, could you score 47 more as well? Is it a team effort here? Are we self-centered? Your best friend, do you really care about them, or is it me? Can you be happy for other people? Saul could not be. He, he chose to not be happy for other people. And when you see someone who is living for the Lord, you become unhappy when they are around. It reminds you of the fact that you are not living for the Lord, and, and it possibly brings conviction on your life as well.